yes good morning brothers and sisters this is mega comrade officer clemente ranomigo edegbe broadcasting live from dallas Texas, united states uh today's date is uh thursday march 28 2024 at about 10 24 a.m in the morning here in dallas Texas, united states central time well uh, as you all can see you are seeing a different picture uh, first of all i want to wish uh his excellency prince claim in canada agba happy birthday uh, i am shocked i thought he was evil he was he was evil 62 or 63 but i didn't know that he's completely 60 today so i want everyone to go ahead and uh, wish uh, our leader uh the the number one uh man of the job value who value you uh his excellency priest club in canada agba uh, go ahead and wish him happy birthday he's our leader he's our is uh, uh agba Bola global father so everyone should go ahead and wish our 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 our, 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 our superior superior agba Happy birthday. God bless you, sir. Uh, another thing is that uh, Akataka, wonder shall never end. We are waiting for the former speaker, uh, those State House of Assembly former speaker, uh, Right Honorable Vitor Edoro. We are waiting for him right now. He's going to be here today. Uh, and we are also waiting for other surprising guests that is going to be here. But for now, uh we are going to stop at that one and um right away this show is the people show today you can see right now the my number is right there uh this is a show where everyone will come today and voice uh their opinion in a respectful way uh i'm not going to sugarcoat anything so we are waiting for uh chief uh uh Adora to to show up and come and tell the whole world uh, the situation of uh, of things in Edo State. So let's go ahead and wish uh, uh, His Excellency Prince Clem Agba happy birthday, guys. Let's do that right now. Let's do that, everybody. Let's do that. Okay. So that is the first thing for us to do. Uh, well, for those of you, Akataka, uh, <laughs> Lobigo. Ah, la wow. Hey. Ah, this one I say what about uh, Senator? Uh, Doro is here. We have a surprise guest today. Uh, I want them to come and tell you how they intend to do it. That is not my job. And then um, once I am in this broadcast right now, once I'm in people freedom movement situation room, I am an independent man. Once I leave my studio, then i become apc independent so right now on the show i am completely independent so i want you all to know, uh, know that i'm not going to be a spokesman to or a spokesperson to anyone for for today uh you know that is it on that one uh we are waiting so you can go ahead and uh, if you want to call and wish our uh his excellency prince clem agba happy birthday i uh, will appreciate it because uh we really really value him a lot we value him a lot and uh, don't waste time share this video in order for us to to hit the ground running you know we have to start right now no wasting of time don't forget i gotta go to work as well so time is against us so we have to do whatever we gotta do to make sure a lot of people know about this uh broadcast today uh earlier today <coughs> an amigo special area area uh, we have our first call let's pick our first call uh hello caller Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. I'm How are you? From Radio Emilia, your son. I want to wish my excellency happy birthday. Uh -huh. I'm calling. Okay, so that's I good. I wish Clement Agba 
He can all day. I wish him happy birthday, long life and prosperity. Amen. I wish him all the best. Although a do people miss him for the race of governorship, we are still hoping on him. We are still expecting him anytime, any day. Okay. He's the best man of the job. I still wish him long life and prosperity. Thank you. Once so again, much. everything you lay your hand upon are from this moment I prosper all closed door shall be open. What what stop your father will never stop you, Planet Agba. What stop your mother will never stop you. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Let's pick the second caller. Hello. Hello, caller. Hello, sir. Yes. My, the great Akataka. Yes, go ahead. Double, double. Uh -huh. Hello, uh, it was definitely from uh, Sweden. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I want to say a uh, big congrats to Chris Kev Agba for his birthday. And uh, I wish him a uh, long life and uh, prosperity. Amen, amen. Yeah, so I thought uh, Senator Modupo was supposed to be here today. Ah, he's listening to you. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a host. Ah, okay. I will see. I will. I will see. I study him. Or uh, we are waiting for for his. Uh, there's someone that's supposed to be here right now. Surprisingly, we are still waiting for them. So let's okay. keep our finger crossed and wait for them. Okay, uh, that the person that is coming is coming from his camp to to clarify. Uh, we want to know. Yes, we want to know. Maybe okay. they are still they are still updating him. So let us wait and be patient. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's the reason why I call. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, I'm watching. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> Akataka, uh, uh, this one said, I hope today video will be, will be today broker will be video. Uh, happy birthday to Mr. Agba. God bless you. Thank you so much. So, I wish I have money. Uh, I have money, Jesus' name, but. Uh, the money has not come yet. Uh, I would have been in Nigeria to celebrate with my, with our our principal, you know, our principal, Agba Bola for life. You know what I'm saying? So that being said, uh, guys, <laughs> hey, hey, trouble this sleep, somebody go wake up today. <laughs> I never even share the video. I have not even shared the video. Let us go ahead and let everybody go ahead and, uh, and share this video before we even begin, right? Let everyone go ahead and share this video, right? Hmm. Uh, uh, Akataka. <laughs> so... As you can see, we are waiting. We have to wait. The old world is watching. We are waiting. So we are waiting. You know. uh, we are waiting. We are waiting for. Thank you so much. Happy birthday for uh, Senator. Uh, oh, happy birthday to Prince. Principal, God bless you. Okay, uh, you know, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, I want to first of all quickly say this before everybody talk. PFN situation rule is not a child play. I want everyone to know that. When you see a political leader that that dare come to PFN situation rule live, oh God, make you value one. Respect them, mo. No criticize and respect them. Because it's not easy. It's not easy. Anybody, any politician, or who are vying for position that they go to PFN situation room, <laughs> or God, I say with him, respect them, value them. It's not easy, you. We are expecting 
uh let me see right now i think i'm getting a conflicting uh, message let me quickly go ahead and uh, check this guys uh you can see right here there is uh we have uh, this right here this was uh for senator mondo Pueblo on on i think it was on thursday last week uh this is for senator mondo Pueblo representative today so we are waiting uh for them so maybe they have a network difficulty or maybe they have not uh, downloaded uh, uh, facebook or youtube we are still waiting we are waiting for apc apc <laughs> we are waiting for apc labor party pdp so please go to pdp platform apc platform labor party platform or political platform go and share this video let them know that pfs situation room is live right now let them know that pfs situation room is live so go ahead and do that immediately that's what i want everyone to do right now go ahead and while some others are doing the sharing we got to do this you know what i mean mm. and uh we are easter is coming i hope every one of us you know uh enjoy this uh easter you know in jesus mighty name please make sure you do the needful take good care of your family uh you know that is it on that one the the second one mega mega i greet you Yeah, this was able to joke. No, unfortunately, we cannot use uh, another person to replace. Uh, mm, we cannot use another person to replace uh, uh, Senator Modero Pueblo, so we have to give him a spot. Uh, the old world can see this now, so we cannot use that. AI have his own time, so uh, if not this Easter, maybe AI would have been here, maybe Saturday or Sunday. So, but uh let's see you i might surprise a lot of people so we cannot do that sorry so let's wait for senator mondo Pueblo, apc flag bearer uh, people uh, repetitive if i don't must, uh, uh, at least it will be better if with the audience can uh, uh, uh let me see what you wrote there uh, so You know, wait, you know what is when? Wait, and I want to explain. I'm not here to explain. Eh? I'm not here to explain. So I'm not going to explain to anybody. Uh, we are waiting for his team to come and uh, uh, explain to the whole world, to a uh, do in diaspora. So that is not my job. My job. I say, who's this PFM right now? I'm an independent man right here on this show. So I have to treat everybody equally. Uh, God forbid, if it is a doctor, uh, Dr. Uh, Aswan Igodalo, uh, people that is doing this, maybe I would have gone wild by now. So a lot of people are watching. They can see how, how I'm trying to manage the situation right now. Uh, Yeah, oh, Clemagba is a different person. Uh, hello, caller. Hello, Mega Mega. Yeah, please lower whatever you are using to watch me, please. It's, it's on top. I'm not watching anything. Okay. Uh, Can you hear me now? Uh, maybe you should off the fan for now, please. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Your name and where are you calling from? This is Chris. I'm calling from Liverpool. Okay, Liverpool, go ahead. I said this last week. Uh, so, um, when he said he was going to come, he come on Saturday. Yeah. I said that this man has never done any interview with you. 
I said you will not come, and I'm right. It's not going to come. It's probably going to send somebody to come. We wish an insult for our faith. It's, it's the eight minutes now. This show started, and it's not coming. They are good as they came as a point view. Did you call and give us two straight hours? This man who is supposed to come by four o'clock after the appointment of Saturday, he's doing the same thing again today. It's not somebody that is denying me. Go on, go for Ashwin Godalo, please. Let Ashwin call your principal. I'll just go on and work for him. This Monday, well, thank God that you don't take any time of the day. Otherwise, that's another waste of time. It's an insult to the Afro people. For me twice, I'll say it's a typical politician who is expecting federal might to win election, and it's never going to be a, a governor of those states. Never. That's my contribution. I All am, right. All right. Thank you. I am, thank you. Oh, sorry that I caught it. I didn't mean to. Uh, sorry. Uh, guys, uh, people have opinion. Uh, you're asking for my number. My phone number is right there in the public domain. Uh, people have an opinion and uh, I have no excuse for this. Uh, let us give them time, please. Let us be patient. Let's give them time. Let's give them extra 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, if we did not hear from them, we will, I will explain, I will tell the whole world what I know. Uh, as a as an independent man on this show, I have to be, I have to be honest to my audience. I cannot lie to my audience. So that is the fact. Uh, let us hope. Uh, mm -hmm. Let us hope that uh, maybe their network is good, or maybe uh, because earlier today. Uh, one of uh, his people, I think I'm getting, uh, I'm trying to share this video by myself. Uh, you know, I'm trying to share it. If you can help me do that, that will make it easier. I will be able to check messages. Someone said he sent me a message, but I'm not checking it right now. You can see I'm face down sharing the video. Uh, that is it. <laughs> Akataka. <laughs> Please be patient. Be patient. Let everyone be patient. Let's give them a little bit of time. Be patient. Believe me, we will do this for someone else, but God forbid we do not want anyone that want to rule our state. Uh, situation to be like this. Uh, that we, I don't want that. We don't want that. Mm. Uh, so, uh, you have to call him, my brother. I think. Uh, hello, caller. Hello. Hello. Yes. Please, uh, I, uh, yes. I'm a prince calling from UK. Mm. Uh, the link for them to enter. The your invitee, the you no know, your guest today is unable to enter via the link you sent. I don't know how you can reconnect with them, please. I just nothing I can do about this. We have planned this for more than four or five days now, and uh, the the media director just joined me a while ago. We spoke on on the link, so you might want to call the Kweburu media director. He know how to join me. He was in the, he was in the studio earlier today. No, so, not the not the media director. Not yeah, the I said call the me. call the media. I'm talking of the your we, guest. You know, yeah. we are on live video now. Call the media director to direct him. To direct him. Okay. I'm already on live video. I cannot abandon people and start working okay. on that one. Mm. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thank, thank you. you. Mm. Thank you. Uh, do you what can see the situation right now? That uh, according to them, that they cannot connect. Uh, uh, Believe me, Senator Mondo Kweburu, media director, was in him. We were together in the studio about a few minutes ago. Uh, you know, he came in with no problem. So he came in with no problem. 
So maybe he might want to join us now. He's watching. Uh, so I don't know why they're afraid of uh, questioning. That is the fact. Uh, this platform belongs to the people. So people have right to call and question. Abi. So that, that is the fact. The question is, uh, you go that low. Uh, now you go to a place. Please, before we do this, you know, there are some APC uh, APC member who are who are jobless, who has no job at all. I want to make this guy famous. Uh, I want everybody, please pick up a pen and a paper to write this number. I want to make him famous. I don't know him. I heard he has no job. I don't know his name, but somebody said he know him that uh, uh, his phone number, I stole his name as bad jobless who always is sought anybody that post my post on everywhere the phone number is plus one i mean sorry the phone number is plus two three four eight one 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 seven nine five four zero four i repeat the phone number is plus two three four eight one 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 seven nine five four zero four I want every poor, innocent person in masses to call this number, ask him what is his problem. Uh, and I want to know uh, his, uh, his or her family so that they can take him to a psychiatric, uh, psychiatric hospital. Or oh, that is the number right there. Plus 234 811 179 5404. So please. I want everyone to call that number. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. I want everyone to call that number. Please, if you call me, before you call me, make sure you mute or whatever device you are using to watch me. Unfortunately, uh, those that were supposed to be here cannot connect. Uh, they said they cannot connect. Uh, uh, Kataka. Now, wow, area we are waiting. The whole world can see this right now. Hello, hello, yes. Your name, and where are you calling from? Hello, your name, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. your name, and where are you calling from? From Italy. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I've watched your show and I think uh, you have given a great view and contribution to the people of the state for the betterment of the country. Please speak louder, country. speak louder, speak louder, speak louder. Hello, caller. Hello, Mega Comrade. The man that is doing a fantastic job. Thank you so Thank much. You you know, Making Edo people know the right people to vote for to make Edo better. Thank you so much. Well, mm. I'm calling to just add my own two cents. Please tell us man, where where your name and where you are where you are calling from. My name is John Bosco. I'm calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Go ahead. Mm. Yeah, I, I want to add my own two cents. Here is that how can a man that wants to rule Edo state cannot come to your program and take questions from Edo people he wants to? Rule? How can the man that wants to rule in those states doesn't have a media team that can put him through to you to make sure that he talks to the people he wants to vote? Look at the way I swear Godalo made his own very easy. Very, like, like seamlessly. He was told that what time he's going to be there. That time he logged on and he was talking to those people. Please, we want somebody that we can talk to, ask questions, that can take questions from those people and tell us what he can do better than what is on ground right now. If you cannot do this little thing now, is it just say that you can that you'll be able to run? We need to check these things out before we make a we we'll make a wrong decision. Because that's why Godalo is the man anybody wants in that power now to run a those things because the man has everything it takes to run a those things. And for you, Mr. Mega Comrade, you are doing a fantastic job. And don't let anybody cover you. You are a strong man, you are a powerful man with your uh, media presence. We are, we are we appreciate yeah. you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you we God have God uh, you. our brother. Uh, please go ahead and introduce yourself to the old world, please. Uh, well, good evening, everybody. 
My name is God's Will in Egbe. I am the director of media and publicity for Senate on Monday, Okbevolo Governorship Campaign Organization. And I'm also the legislative aide to the senator on media and publicity. Uh, I greet everybody. I greet our my Bini brothers and sisters. I greet my Akoko Edo, Esako, Owan brothers and sisters. Of course, I greet my Esan people, Esan Ukbewolo. I greet everybody, the good people of Edo State. On our way down south, Samans. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you can use your language to greet your people. Uh, if you want to, uh, Honorable Goswe, you can use your language. Speak your language to your people. You know, welcome uh, to Situation Room. It's not easy to be here. We want to applaud you. Uh, this is a scary platform. Go ahead. Wabulu, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the one level, Kara, in the Igini, in the Savoka, in the Ivocasa, big bay, naked at Roo, Cocona, Bona, in the Rivisa, in the Rivina, Nigeria, in the Rivi, Evoli, Bo, my twelve are review, my help money by Bielly, now Kinley, a God Swilly, Ovi Nagbe, no, sir, no knee is a central local government, if I may ever Kara, I'm a machine, no see, go. Ahume or Degon Waimwana Emye on the program una my sub of Ivo Emwana Wabulu Bulu Mame ye kwemi on the not on the program na kiana the Ancoma Mega Comrade Clement Eranomigo Omon a do state Bielli Omon a do state Rehu My Yolo Bulu Bulu We went now sis in a woke wena one plafona Marigan Babulu I do people, yeah, oh, yeah. God bless you, my honorable. Uh, Dr. Austin, I see you are trying to call me, but you have to come on the video. Uh, we don't patronize uh, audio contribution through uh, to our platform this way. Please go back, exit, and come on the video. Okay, uh, God bless you, honorable Goswe. Uh, you welcome to Situation Room. What is going on with the camp, uh, campaign? What is the situation of the campaign? Well, th thank you so much, uh, my great brother. You first and foremost, I want to profoundly appreciate you, and I wanted to put, I wanted to be put in record of what you are using this platform to do, and for us that live in Nigeria, for us that live in Edo State, we are proud of what you are doing. Appreciate you are an illustrious son of Edo State, and we deeply appreciate you, your efforts of deepening our democracy, of deepening the right for fair hearing and fair expression of minds, and for giving the platform for anyone to express him or him or herself to the best of himself or her knowledge. Uh, I haven't said that. For us in Senator Monday Okbevolo campaign organization, we are doing well, we are doing fine. You know, the truth is that in politics, every if you have been in the system, I mean the political system, you know that if you want to succeed in the political spectrum, you must have your will or your own strategy of playing your politics. For us in Mode Okbewolo campaign organization, we don't do copy and paste. We don't copy others. We don't move with the bad wagon. We we are strategic. We are planning. We have a set of goals, and we are taking it according to plans, not according to how some people want it to be. The man we are working for is someone who understood the nuances of the political dynamics, both in the states and, of course, in the country, Nigeria. For instance, quickly, I want to refresh our memory. If you recall, our great party, 
the All Progressive Congress (APC) had, you know, uh, had a primary election that was almost most people think that the party was heading towards explosion because of the process of the primary election. My dear brother Mega Comrade, if you recall that 21 persons contested that primary elections. Ordinarily, ordinarily, my brother, if not for the quality leadership of Senator Modi Ukbebolo, by this time, APC will have been divided into many groups, into many factions, or better still, so people thinking about the option to opt out. But after the primary election, the senator insisted that before any campaign activities can be games in earnest, those who participated in the primary election that didn't get the tick, of course, uh, from the outset, we understood that as when 21 persons were vying for the position, it's only one person that eventually get the ticket. And one person actually got the ticket. So he insisted, I mean, the senator who got the ticket, that he doesn't want to start the campaign now. What he want to first, what he want to do is to first and foremost put the, his house, I mean, the APC family in order by reaching out to everyone that participated in that primary election. And of course, reaching out to their supporters and their admirers to bring them together first before talking about politicking or campaigning. And that's what he did. And today, I'm proud to say that he has successfully achieved that, of course, with the support of some major stakeholders of our great party and leaders of our party who came together and, of course, leads a reconciliation process that have today come into friction that APC is one united family in other states, and we are stronger and ready not to face the campaign and, of course, face the election. So the senators, he, he, he actually dis demonstrated leadership by ensuring that nobody was left behind. He didn't behave as the winner take it all. As far as he was concerned, the primary election, there was no victor, no vanquish. Everybody must come on board. So you all will agree with me, my dear brother, that he was able to bring everybody together. And today, everybody that participated in that primary election, we are together in APC. And that is one of the quality of a good leader, the ability to unite a house. So as far as we are concerned, the senator has demonstrated that he's a unifier. He's a unifier. That is another good quality for him. And that's the kind of quality we need for the next leader who will lead this state to the place that we all desire the state to be. And of course, now I hear some people say uh, our position uh, uh, party or our opposition uh, contestant is a campaign team or is a campaign organization and all that. As I said before, every campaign organization have their own strategy. They have their own plan. They have their own agenda. For us in Senator Modu, we are not doing follow follow. We're not the copy and paste, Malga. We know they do what others they do. Now, what till we plan our own one do? When we want to start campaign, we go campaign. Not be a do. Now, do politics. We've been in this process for years, my brother. I don't want to sound up with that demonstrated spirit of immodesty here. But what I'm saying, in essence, is that the senator, who is the gubernatorial flag bearer of the APC in those states, is someone who understood the politics in uh, those states and, of course, the politics in Nigeria. That's why when he came out to contest for the Senate in, for the first time, in all places like Esala, Esala that we knew that it was dominated by PDP, the man came out and he campaigned. He, we, political artists spoke for him. His records, his achievements, you know, was what he campaigned with. And the people loved him because of what he has been doing. And for the first time, he broke the political genes in Edo Central Central District by winning the Central election. And today, also, the man has broken other genes, of course, by being the first, another member of APC from Edo Central Central District to be the first gubernatorial candidate of that party. So the man himself is prepared and he understood the process. And at the appropriate time, he will bring out all he's known for and all he has in kit. So, my dear brother, mega comrade, we are ready. 
the campaign organization is ready. We are putting things in together. And by the time we start, I can assure you, my dear brother, those who are having some reservations concerning the Kubernetes uh, kind of APC, uh, uh, the they will later, you know, decide to say, ah, oh, we didn't know it's going to be like this. Because the, the, the senator we are talking about is not a political new fight. With all due respect, it's not a political new fight. So the man knows what to do at the right time, sir. So, okay. sir, that's all, right. all we are doing the condition. God bless yes. you, uh, Honorable mm -hmm. God's way. You might want to let's bring in a, a former speaker of a Dusty House of Assembly, right, Honorable uh, Victor uh, Sabo. Uh, the, uh, you are welcome uh, to PFS Situation Room, uh, former speaker. Thank you very much. I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you introduce yourself to the old world. We have a uh, a thousand plus people watching us right now and doing diaspora and home and abroad. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you very much. First of all, let me apologize for not being able to hook up since. Maybe I'm analog, I'm not uh, digital enough to be able to know how to operate my phone. I'm walking, I'm on the street, and I have to just uh, pull over now to be able to. Do some of those. In fact, I couldn't remember my password. I have to do as if I don't know my password. I have to create another one that back to enter. Fine name. Uh, we are still having network. Uh, right to my Victor, so. uh, Go ahead, Mr. Speaker, we, we barely hear you, Mr. Speaker. I'm the chief. Uh, the other one, are you hearing me now? Uh, the network is wobbling, it's wobbling, so it's off and on. Okay, I think you might want to, uh, you might want to connect with a very strong network. Uh, oh my god, okay, can you hear me now? I hear you, I hear, I'm hearing you very well. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. I have introduced myself, right on our okay, Victor. My, first question. my name. Uh, former speaker, we all know you. You are a good friend. Uh, we know you. Uh, uh, you are not. Uh, you were one of those uh, aspirants on this race. Uh, we thank God that uh, uh, you follow our uh, APC and uh, you were able to work and uh, make sure the APC. The... But first of all, what is going on with APC or Progressive Company? I didn't hear you well. I said, what is the situation of APC in a state right now? Oh, oh, as we speak, APC is very fine and good. We are well seated. You know, after primaries, you must have some skirmishes here and there. But I can I can tell you boastfully that APC is well seated. We have reconciled all the reconcilable. We are coming up with our program in a synchronized form so that uh, we can be ready to hit the ground running. You know, this that time, we will hit the ground running. By the time we hit the ground running, you will know that uh, all this they have been doing is just uh, a case of uh, uh, is a man who has no teeth or an animal who has no teeth is the one that goes to where they are, you know, the block theory, theory you know. So when we are ready, we will overshadow them and we'll take over the space. I'm sure of that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Honorable Goswe and uh, Right Honorable Vitor Edora, do you all want to, people want to call him? Uh, I'm a host. This is PFS Situation Room. I uh, want to take some questions or we should just uh, abolish uh, questions. Yeah, thank you very much. I need to, first of all, state this very clearly. I didn't know that this program is cooking or it had it up happening today, but the senator just got uh, an emergency call from the villa. He was prepared for this program. He had an emergency call from the villa. I was supposed to be able to follow him there. He has to detail me to stay around. That's why I'm looking for network around the, the, the principle of that area now. That's why I'm not settled. If we are seated now, because of the much more respect we have for you, and that's why I'm asked to stay back to at least stay in for him. He deeply regrets not being able to be with you today. Okay. 
Uh, we heard that uh, before we... So you are willing to take calls, right? Okay, Honorable Goswin. Mm. Yeah, my great brother, I can hear you, great. Yeah, are you are you willing to take us? Because I'm, they are bombarding me with questions here. So, do you want to answer some few questions? Of course, of course, of course. Okay, all right. Let's yes. go. First caller, right, uh, first, uh, caller, your name and where are you calling from? Uh, good evening, sir. My name is calling from Ireland. From Ireland. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, what I want to say, sir. Yes. Uh, like, since the, the principal, Mondo Fuego, is not coming here today, what you could have do, you could have come on the media and explain to us, all right? Then, you don't need to, you, this guy could have come on their own separate, on their own separate way. They're coming here today, so I will do respect. If you don't, no matter if he's busy, no matter what he's doing, he shouldn't promise us. The last time he promised us, most of us are supposed to go to have an appointment with our friends or have a meeting with our friends. We're supposed to go to work. We're waiting. So people cancel their where they're supposed to do that very day. Then today, the same thing happened. I was not having like a, a, a talk up, like a direct call on my phone. I have to go and get internet to put on my phone. Money. Just for me to ask him a simple question. Then now it is not it is not come up online. So what you could have do, you could have explained to us. Then cancel this very day that this guy could have come in a separate way. The reason why I'm sounding like this is because I respect you so much. It is other media. The phone we have a throw here. They don't go like the person don't go like him at all. This thing now, we don't play with you. don't play with us like that now. We are here in Western World. 100% believe moving forward. It's not coming for Fed, it's coming for who that is in the past for a year. 100%. I'm telling you, there is nothing coming from Fed that we believe people benefit. Not be coming from Nigeria that we need to open the street. It's with that grass where I say, now I'm going to the top in every week, in the last place. Now we're back to the fellow saying, we're coming to us on this day, I know turn off. Now because of you, and this thing is uh, why, uh, why are you all blaming me? Look you know, at, okay, hold on, call, uh, uh, please. You that is right here, Ranomigo, you fail. Uh, how do I fail? Uh, you have, he you said someone yeah. to represent him. So direct your question to, to, to the director and uh, right honorable uh, Doro. This is the former speaker of uh, the House of Assembly. Go ahead, sir. You want to respond to this? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Thank you very I'm much. Okay. Thank you very much. I must, uh, uh, I must apologize on behalf of the senator. The truth of the matter is that what is happening today is just a coincidence of actions. The senator is was fully prepared to be in this program, but Mr. President suddenly called him. You know, that uh, president call is not only going there alone. As I speak to you, he's already in the villa with Comrade Adam Shomole. They are discussing issues that affect the road the road leading to, from a uh, local jar to Benin. You know, actions have been put in place to making sure that that road, actions are expedited on that road so that they can construct that road and get it, you know, finished in less than about four months. So they are working on it. He got a sudden call, so he went there. Regrettably, he told me to come and, uh, you know, sit in for him. I want to apologize seriously on his behalf. If this one wasn't his making, I was there, and uh, I want to say that you that want to see or hear from the senator, that is passion. That is that is a uh, uh, a lot of uh, hope that you have for a do. You want the betterment of a do. That's why you want him to come and talk to you. He will not run from me. He will talk to you. I want to you know at least appeal to your conscience to at least a little bit cool down and uh, wait for him to come. He must come here. And, uh, you know, when you become a candidate, if you're at your own level, I do not know what you do, but imagine a candidate of a party, a ruling party at that matter. He's very busy this time, and equally a senator. So a lot of issues come up here and there, and he has to attend to them according to scale of preference. So please, uh, I want you to cool down your calm down, cool down your temper. Let us uh, 
uh, look at it very well. This man you are talking about is a very humane person. It's a man who has been spending a lot of his resources without even knowing that he wants to contest the election. That is in the field of politics today. It is not because the man wants to be in politics. People forced him into politics. We came to a point. People were looking for persons who are kind hearted. People who, because we have had a number of persons that are coming to the field of politics who are called to betray people. That's why they went to him to beg him to come into this game. If you see this man, he's not a talker, but he's a doer. He's not a talker, he's a doer. If you check a lot of things he has done with his personal resources, and even as a senator, and when I was privileged to know what is in the pipeline, what he has been able to put in the budget within these three to six months that he has spent. In fact, this is what a lot of senators could not do for four years. But you know, budget issues. I was a, a legislator, I am still. But you know, when you have budget, budget is a yearly thing. Once you put it this into the budget, the implementation will be awaited. And once they start, things begin to work. I need you to just calm down. We are having the best time for the very first time. What is important to governor is conscience. This man has good conscience. It's only conscience, they said, is the only thing that can curtail the essences of a human being. A lot of these politicians, you can see what Obateki has done in Edo, is regrettable. A lot of us who supported it to come in, we are regretting it every day. But we need a humane person for the first time. Let's not forget about the talking aspect of it. This is a doer. That's what we need now. To so every action, there's equal and opposite reaction. When you put in a small input, I get a better output. That is the best. I think we should exercise more patience for him. He cannot tell the president no. The president cannot call him and he will say no. We should please give him some time and appeal to the conscience of people. Please don't be angry. Please just calm down. He will be with you in no distant time. And he's going to set a date for which he can talk to you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's pick another call. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Colin. I'm calling from Toronto, Canada. Fro speak I'll louder. Start. Speak louder. Toronto, Canada. Yeah, can you, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. If Mori cannot come on this show because he knows that he cannot speak English, he needs to forget about this election. He can't send all these guys down here they are confused no no, no 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 don't use it well, we uh, 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on uh be respectful please i'm very i'm very angry he did this the first time and he's repeating it again what does it take us for i understand who do you think he is but it's not their fault we want to hear from him we the only the only message he had is my uh, this is that drug soda water it's uh, a simple message Tell her what you can do. Yes, it's not sound. I don't know what is wrong with APC and all the Edo people. I can't, with all the people who contested the cross, it's all men. No, all right, all right, you gotta go. I'm sorry that I cut that phone off because uh, I cautioned him. He did not uh, respect uh, the platform, so I have to cut it off. Uh, call out from uh, your name and where are you calling from? Hello, I'm calling from Italy. This is Prince. Okay, Prince from Italy, go ahead. Yeah, uh, please, I want to talk to this, uh, my brothers. They should know I'm from Iroa, I'm from, I'm from Iroa. Yeah, those states. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I want to ask these people a question. They, if they are telling you people that the uh, APC is well organized, in Edo Central is 100% live. Modi job was just lucky because of the problem in in Desa Central because the person that was a senator here before wanted to go for trade training of PDP. That was the lucky that Opevolo has that everybody turned back on the PDP and just we were all happy. Let's try a new person, which is Opevolo. Now Opevolo. We never said Opeholo to be a governor. Opeholo was sent to represent Isa as a senator, not a governor. And two, now Opeholo, since this several past months, Opeholo has not done nothing as a senator. The first allowance that came to Isa Central 
If a five hundred million was given to Open to go to his community and establish things. Because I was waiting to talk to Open. That money, Open will take that money and bribe some leaders in Guinea in Abuja to become the governor of a two state. The non Open has there is no road in Virua where Open will pay for. Okay, what is your question? What time. what is your question? It's just a question. This My are... question is: These points that are here to go home. We want to see open. That is what I'm saying. Okay, we noted. Have to ask we we we, we, uh, we heard you. Thank you. Uh, 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 media director, okay. Honorable Gus, we go you. ahead and uh, respond to that. Thank you so much uh, for the opportunity to uh, mega comrades. Uh, first and foremost, sir, uh, I can understand that there are some emotion attached here. Correct. And uh, that's leading to some people using some, uh, using some uh, terminologies that is not uh, civil enough. Please, I want to appeal, irrespective of our emotion, irrespective of our conscience, we should learn to respect each other and we should also learn to use words that are not insultive to each other. Because at the end of the day, what we desired, what we all want is a better Edo state. It's an Edo state that works for every one of us, not just for elites, or rather the political elites. I will say that uh, I want to quickly correct some wrong information deposited by the last caller. And I don't want this platform to be used, with all due respect, to promote lies and falsehood. For the record, I am the legislative aide to Senator Modu Pebulu on media and communication, which means whatever happens at the National House of Assembly, the Senate precisely, I'm standing at a vantage point of knowledge and understanding of what is going on on the red chambers. So I should be in the right position to place the records on the proper perspective and not for hearsay. sake. The last caller made some claims which are not true, rather claims that are false. He talks about that the sum of 500 million be given to Modi Okwewolo, that he used the money to bribe the leaders in the party for him to emerge the kind of the party. That claims is false. There is no evidence to that. I want to categorically state here that Senator Modi Okwewolo have not received any amount of money, amount of 500 million naira for his constituency that he diverted to promote his political interests. That is one. Then the last caller also referenced that since the senator has been voted, he has not done anything, neither has he uh, uh, delivered anything. Like, again, that is false. I can pardon the last caller because maybe he's living far away from Eastern land. He says from Eastern Central. He is living far away from Central. Me that is talking here this evening on this platform, I live in a those central central districts. If I go to Abuja, do my job, do what I want to do, I come back to Isha. So I am familiar with the development of things in that place. First and foremost, since the senator was elected as a parliamentarian, not an executive officer that have executive powers, as a parliament, a legislator, whose primary responsibility of a legislator is to make laws, move motions, and of course, lobby to ensure he's able to attract projects through what is called zona constituency project to his constituency. Since the senator was so in rather was inaugurated on uh, June thirteenth. 2023, he, his senator co-sponsored 
a motion with Senator Comrade Adam Soshomole regarding the bad roads in Edo North, Edo Central Senatorial District. That road is what the former Speaker of Edo State House of Assembly referred to in his summation. That that road is one of the reasons why, as we speak right now, the Senator and Comrade Adam Soshomole, they are the villa in order to perfect what the minister have already started for the refurbishment or rather the construction of that road, which the contractors has already been ordered to go to site. It is the motion that was co-sponsored by the two senators that have led to that decision we taking. That's one. Second, again, the senator has moved a motion regarding the the gully erosion that have become threats to lives and properties in Edo Central Central District. The gully erosion challenge in Edo Central, which he drew the federal gov government attention to, at the Senate floor, got the attention of the relevant agencies and parastasters, for instance, like the NEMA, like FEMA, and other relevant government agencies that have sent the engineers to come and carry inspections, to come and do analysis based on the senators' motions moved in the Senate. And that is still ongoing. Since the senators has was elected, there is a major project that is ongoing. It's called Federal Government Rural Water Scheme. That rural water scheme can take care of five communities. That rural water scheme is located in this central local government. That is from that the last caller came to came from. That's why I said that is not acquainted with the development in this local government because that project is located in this central local government. Although it was a project that was originally initiated by late Admiral August E. Homo, but it was since abandoned. But when the senator resumed office, through his efforts, he was able to liaise and lobby the relevant ministries and parasitas, and they send uh, teams of engineers to sites. And that site now, they are working, equipment will be brought, and by the grace of God, in the coming months, water will start flowing in five communities that are cut across four wards four words in this central local government. Of course, there are other things that the senators has already also done. I don't want to go into the area of empowerment that he has even extended beyond the central districts. If you recall, there's one of, uh, I don't want to use the word physically ch challenge, but is we are referring as a physically able man. Who is popular? Obviously, if you are familiar with uh, those state politics, you will know it's a Vesery. He's the chairman of the Physically Challenge Association in a those state. All these years, when that young Eboma goes out, he struggles. It was only one time that Senator met, saw him. I said, who is this young man? They told him. And today, that man is driving a good sound Toyota Corolla car. That is Senator gave to him. I don't want to mention the numbers of vehicles that the senator has given to young people in a those central central districts. My brother, mega comrade, as we speak right now, the luxurious bus that the senator donated to a those central central district that now runs free transportation scheme in a those central work as as we are talking right now in the, on this platform. In Edo Central, the senator is an alternative government. Why? Because I stand to be challenged. I stand to be challenged. He is the only senator that today runs a free transportation system in the central district. He has a luxury bus that convey people around Edo Central Central District free of charge. This information to be to be verified. I didn't come here to come and make claims. I didn't come here to come and campaign. 
I didn't come and come here to come and promote propaganda. I came here to come and put things to the people of a do state and Nigeria that can be verified, so that the next time this program is on, they can challenge these things that have came to okay. you know put okay. position right. here. So the okay. senator has performed, yeah, to the best yes. of his ability. Okay. Uh, we have Thank you so much. someone on the phone for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go mm -hmm. ahead. I know you were not prepared to come to this uh, show today, but the question people are asking now, yes. where is Senator Modokberu? Where will you make him available for Edo people? When and where? what? Okay. Thank you so much, the great mega comrade. Just as my, uh, my leader said, the respected speaker, of Edo State, the leader of the G34. Of course, those who are familiar with APC in Edo State, we know the group refers as G34. Mm. You know, uh, sorry, G14, not 34, I mean, yeah. G14. You know, the 14 members of assembly who were Some denied man. inauguration by, by uh, uh, Obaseki. You know, those, the first in defense of our democracy in Edo State. But I don't want to go into that. But he is the leader. Of that group known as G14. Just as he said before, the senator wanted to be on this program because he was the one that announced on this program last week that he was going to appear today. We are not asking but, you. Uh, okay, Honorable yes. Brother, you are yes, the sir. media director. Have you that downloaded correct, the Facebook and YouTube on Senator Model Pueblo cell phone? Yes or no? Of course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That has been done, okay. sir. So that will not be an excuse. Where will you make no. him available? The Edo people in diaspora. Mm. They are not happy. I have to be mm. honest. I thank mm. God they respect me. I'm getting a lot of insults. It's okay. That is a insult. It's a part of a politics. But mm. where would Senator Modo be able to speak to a do home and abroad on situation room? Or are you people afraid of situation room? <laughs> not, not at all. You know, uh, as you are just saying it, I'm laughing. Because as I said before, uh, there's nothing yet to be afraid of. Thank uh, you. Be, uh, of that comrade, not to talk now. Not be mad that they talk. Okay. Thank not you. to talk, not to talk. And so, but what I can tell you is that once, as uh, the senator told me before, as I said before, that once he's through with his meetings at the villa, he's going to give you a call. Then he will call you, both of you, we make that arrangement when he will appear on the platform, which you will now have to come and inform the people on the platform. So okay, he's going to tell you, sir. Let's yeah. quickly uh, let the caller, he's being, uh, he's being on the phone. Your name and where are you calling from, sir? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good evening, Mega Comrade, yeah. Ivan Omigo. Good evening. My name is my Prince Kelly Udevolu from UK. Okay, go ahead. I really want to thank you for the manner at which you are handling the situation. Uh, we love you. And uh, as you said at the beginning of this program, that you are anchoring this program as an independent individual or personality in uh, those states. And uh, we, we can see the manner at which you are handling the situation. And uh, I do really want to use this medium to specifically thank uh, the speaker of our speaker, Honorable Victor Stapo Tagaledoro, well known as a political guru in the two states, and also the head of media. So, Senator Monday, Obebolo, Honorable Gosh, will be next for being here to represent or to do a certain clarification for the Edo people to know the reason why the guest for today, Senator Monday, Obebolo, aka Apako Mesa, is not on this program. And uh, what you have given, the issues you are giving, worthy, uh, very good because uh, that purpose why they are, why it didn't come, or the reason why it didn't come, is what the two people want to hear. Mm -hmm. That being a Puma Okine Express, it's a 
Federal Road, and there was news and updates on social media and the news. We saw the video when Senator Mondo Pebolo and uh, Comp Senator Adam Oshomole with the Minister of uh, Works and the Contractor. They were in a meeting and they commenced the, the repair or the construction of that particular road. And now that they are invited by the presidency, they may that they are not have and make sure that that particular service they have been will be materialized and work out of the world. And uh, we really thank that. But before I throw my, what I want uh, the two guests to really expand, or what I want this to be the loyalist idea, or if the spokesman for the BDP candidates, there's something I want to add that we all know that happens. Because according to record, or according to what we know about. Uh, Marista Ashwe Igodalo. He has been the remote chief economic strategist and the principal major driver of Nobatakis. Okay. Paid economic policy. Hey, Kola. I will, uh, Kola. Uh, my brother. My brother. My brother. This is for this is for Senator Modi uh, When uh, whenever Ashwe come, he will be here not a week. Uh, I want you to reserve your question direct to me. Okay, you can go okay, ahead and uh, go to, Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Uh, what I want to go to the Honorable Post is to tell us. Can you, tell, can you dive more on that particular issue that was raised by one of those people that called in that uh, Senator Montgopelo is a to appear on video before the two people on this situation room. How did you respond to that uh, particular belief? Because many said on last week that this is not going to come because he's afraid to appear on video. That was why he came on on you. This honorable name or honorable Duro. But can you respond to that so that people should understand and uh, abuse that uh, notion or that uh, mindset from the uh, two people worldwide. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Know. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, uh, former speaker. Uh, Doro. Thank, you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, once again, I need to apologize. I, I was out. My network took me out, too. I didn't uh, quite. But I heard what the last speaker said. From Western. For anybody to think that Senator, is Senator Federal Republic of Nigeria is afraid of the press. Uh, well, I don't know how to imagine that. Uh, he's not afraid of press, and uh, he they said a man that uh, is ready for action will always be prepared for what brings about that action. Senator Mondo Pebolo is ready to be governor of those states. Unfortunately, when you check the lot, he's one of he's the best among them. He will certainly talk to the people. As we are talking now, if the cafe has not started, if you check the INEC guideline, anything you are doing now, you have to be skeptical so that you don't uh, fall into the hands of uh, INEC disqualification. When the when we are ready, when the campaign organization is fully set up and the drum for campaign are on, you will see Senator Mondo you will know that it is not a man who, who, who goes to the police station, who reports a case to the police station that will get judgment at the end of the day. He is fully equipped with what it takes to bring about an Eldorado in Edo State. So he cannot do that while in the boardroom alone. He must be able to canvas his points. He must be able to uh, canvas his position, drive them to a point where Suko will be given to Edo. I want to clear that out. He's not afraid of press. And at the appropriate time, even today, if need be, he might even address press when it's coming out from uh, Arthur Rock. 
as we speak, is there. So, uh, for anybody to think that the the, the excuse give him is flimsy, it's not a it's not a flimsy excuse. It's a very cogent excuse, and there is nobody here who will be called by the president who will not drop every other thing that he's doing and honor the president call. President is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And a man who wants to be governor in a do state and in the party where the governor is the leader. If he is called, he will not say no. I want to address press. Therefore, let me not attend to the president. No. He will honor the president first. And that is why he, I'm not even happy that he told me to go out of uh, out of the electorate. I needed to be here to prove because he knows that I have this integrity in the eyes of the people. To be able to tell the people that, yes, he's in the Asso Rock. Whoever has his number now should try to call him. You can't get him because he's in the Asso Rock. He's attending to the president. As soon as he's out, he will be, we are even happy that we have a, a senator who have access to the governor, who can bring a lot of dividend of democracy to the people when he eventually becomes governor. Because what you need as the governor is contact. And once you have them, Everything you need, you bring it to the doorstep of the people, and the people will be happy at the end of the day. Let it. Let us take it clear that Senator Mondo Pueblo is not afraid of press because he who seeks equity must go with clean hands. And when you are roasting a young for a blind man, it's advisable you whistle. He is already aware that he's going to roast the yam for the people of those day to eat, so he must. He must talk for them to hear so that the blind ones among them will not, not think that he's already eating their yam. So we should, okay. we should take this for granted. Okay, let's pick some call. Uh, uh, Honorable Goswe, let's pick some call before we go further on that one. Hello, Hello caller, your name and where are you calling from? Oh, this is John Bosco from Atlanta, Georgia. Again. Okay, John Boss. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, I want to like... Um... <laughs> So what that is, what the media team is saying is that first of all, the problem was the GDP for a very long time before he moved to the PC. Like the other caller said, you had issues in PDP with the uh, Senate and other APC, PDP members walked to to join the PC to be able to make him win that election. And second, I want to ask that uh, media team member that said that the Pueblo, what did he do with the party that he collected for federal government? No, we are not on a palliative right now. We are discussing about. We are part of the discussion. But first of all, he said that the palliative that he has to do with the so called poor hole is something that he said that he did in Uruguay. There are no other options. There are no other options. I can send you pictures of it. There are no other options. Okay, we heard you. We are not. We are not. He said he promised you that he was going to be here today. That. So whatever the presidency has called, he would have told the presidency first before today that he has an appointment to talk to a new people. No, 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 no. You know, of course, he cannot cancel that. You know that. But, uh, uh, but if I, the last time he told me that he had issues, he had a meeting. Okay. That he was going to a meeting. Today again, he has another Why meeting. can't we give him the, the last opportunity? Said, let us... Let, the uh, federal road are talking about that are working meeting now. And uh, Bahari was there for eight years. They didn't fix that federal road. But they were blaming it on Obateki. Obateki didn't fix federal road. But now they are not looking for what they wish to campaign against Obateki. That's why they are pushing to fix federal road in four months. To go for the war. Okay. No. All right. Let, no. Let's pick another call. You are two minutes already, my brother. Let me answer Thank another you. person. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Uh, let me just go ahead and pick another call. Hello, caller. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Sorry, unfortunately, your line is not good. Hello, your name and where are you calling? So let me quickly hold this for now. Uh, Speaker Edoro, God bless you. Uh, this is not, uh, nobody, I'm not saying is afraid of the media. This is a, a do, this is the biggest anti-corruption, anti flaw political platform in the whole country. This is not channel news. We are do people who are going to vote for him, who is going to govern. We have opportunity to call him and uh, ask questions. He needs to be connected to a do home and abroad in diaspora and uh, in a do. So what we are saying is that is he afraid of speaking to a do people who he want to be their leader, to be the chief executive 
That is what we mean. We are not talking of the whole media. He, I saw his video in Channel News on Arise News. So going to Arise News is not servicing us. Arise News are not going to go vote. So Channel News are not going to go vote. Can you, or both of you, you are the director of the media, can you all tell us today, uh, Speaker, we respect you a lot. You are a man that uh, do people honor. Can you tell us that Senator Modo will not fail for the third time? To come to PFN situation room. This is where we want him now. Can you unmute yourself, sir? Unmute yourself. Okay, I did it. Unmute your book. Thank you very much. I forgot. This uh the senator is not the one feeling the circumstances surrounding this period is the one that has failed reason being that you this forum speaking to a do is very very important but respects demand that as soon as the president calls him he must honor the president because he is busy if mr president is busier we understand i I know that some persons are not happy because the last time he was able to tell the people that his phone had issues, he could not, he was available, but network did not allow him. You can see what happened to me today. I have to do extra things to make sure that I'm able to hook up. Okay. Even when he, he assigned me to sit in for him here. He is willing to talk to a do people, very important, more than any other per person. But the tools with which he's going to work for the betterment of a do is in the hands of the presidency. Federal parastatals, federal roles are within the principle of federal government. And as a governor, you can see what we have had in the opposition so far. We had a senator who could not, who have been there, who, who did eight years, but because of a position arrangement, he was able to bring little or nothing to the people of Edo Central. You can see a senator who has not done more than six months. A call, a motion, as said or deposited by uh, Honorable Inegbe, the president order the minister of war because the west of monday they are like magic touch he hardly is a man who do not talk anyhow if he decided to say something calculatively you will discover that everybody that's around him honors him reason being that the quietness of a tiger mustn't be mistaken for foolishness most times it's a calculated attempt to achieving accurate result okay so most okay. people are okay. bomb when they are deposited he corners you he's a bot player he corners you when he corners you and deposit it it will become like the vitro color it become offers that cannot be rejected so to me for some of us who have work closely with monday in the recent time we have discovered that for the first time we are having a dope person who is a true son who believe in the betterment of a do who is worried day in day out on how a do is going to do well monday as i spoke talk to you does not even sleep by four o'clock yesterday i was already going home he was still calling me that there are issues that we, we must come and finalize the construction of this road, that the minister says something. We must go and clarify it. You won't believe me. We went to the, uh, the minister's house around uh, four, four years. It is the, decision we, the discussion we had yesterday that brought about the call of Mr. President today. The of Mondial Pueblo, Senator, is a thing that we must respect. 
And if you want it to come to the to the floor like a pirate, I can bet you you won't get that one from Monday. Monday is a calculator. And by the time he's ready, he deposits, he talks not too much, but he's concise to the point. I still want to beg everybody who expected Monday to talk today. It's not as if it, he will not he may not even talk today. He can just come to Arthur Rogna and join us. But as we speak, for the betterment of Edo, he is called to the presidency. And he must honor that call. That is why. In fact, I had what I wanted to tell the president today. You know, I'm a member of the G14. I wanted to remind him because he promised that he was good by now, he was going to give us job. I wanted to remind him, okay, you promised us job, you are not giving it to us up to now. But when Monday, again, for a do state too, when he nominated me to go and represent him, I said, no, you have what to tell president. They look, what you want, your personal issue must not override the generality of a do people. Go and tell them for a do sake. That he met me down. I, I, I looked at him again. So do you see how people like this? So if people know him, if it is possible to pierce it to his heart, and know what he thinks every day. Everybody that is taking talking this platform, we continue to hate Monday. This is the fact that we're having a conscious person who wants to be governor in the do. We need to encourage him. We need to respect him. We need to, to, to teach him how to be responsive to the people. And I can assure you that at the end of the day, everybody will have cause to rejoice that Monday Pueblo is the choosing one from APC and is the choosing one to be governor of a state. All right. Uh, uh, Honorable Gosu, you have anything to say before we pick another call? Uh, uh, yeah, well, the right Honorable Speaker of a state House of Assembly, the leader of the G40 have said it all, my great mega. But one thing I would just say, just as the Speaker said, for most of us, that are expecting uh, our uh, the senator to appear on this platform. I just want them to to exercise some little restraints and also to help to manage their hope. Manage their hope in the sense that the senator is not a talkative. He's not a talker. It's is a man with few words, but the words his words are powerful whatever he says is what he's committed to his words are his bonds so i know he will surely appear on this pl platform that is certain but i just also want to keep our hope and manage our expectation that is not an someone that have the oratory prowess you know like our highly respected comrade adams ushomole you know, can talk and you know, keep us to the edge of our seats while talking. Senator Monday Okpewulu, aka Akpako Miza, is a man of few words, but whatever he says or whatever commitment he makes, he ensures that he's fulfilled. His. And that's the reason why those who know him very well want him to become the I next really governor of a two state it's zero zero huh? two zero over two for <laughs> <laughs> the mega <laughs> no it because of some issue beyond his country that the <laughs> right on everybody just explain you know that's right when we okay. appear here what is going to tell you on this platform he will fulfill hello, it uh, uh, <laughs> hello caller hello mega yeah your name and where are you calling from that means actually I recall from UK. From UK, okay, go ahead. Yes, first and foremost, I want to make it clear that the table is not a calculator. As a matter of fact, it is not even calculating the way at the moment. We that are with the PDK okay. decided to tune in and give him the audience. And he has not recognized you alone as a platform. No, it's not it's, it's not about me. Wait, wait, let me correct you people. We have about 1,400 people here. Those 1,400 people is not around me. I'm no more than them. Don't refer to me. So I'm just a whole. Okay? Fair, fair, fair enough. 
But what I don't want to say is that the man that you are giving opportunity on your platform to come and speak to the people is not available. Are we too small for him? Is your platform too small for him? So on that day, come September 21st, nobody will be available for him. It's as simple as that. All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I already called you. Hello, caller. Uh, caller, your name. Abadola. This is Prince from UK. Okay, go ahead, Prince from UK. Uh, uh good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening, the listener, the viewer. Uh, the invitees. I welcome you, two of you, the former speaker and the uh, the media man. Mm -hmm. Uh, the fact is that I just have a few words to add to this uh, topic that we are watching. I told the power uh, maker in an Omega Debbie last week that Mr. Monday is not coming today, number one. And number two, uh, if Mr. Monday never intend to come again, or if he fails to come again, you people that is saying, please, it's not a threat thing. Just tell him to rest for the governor uh, race. Because you people are using a word now that is the most qualified person. It's not. We know that we know people that was qualified. It's not. And uh, if you know that he's busy, you could have not go for a governor race. He's already a senator. He could have just been a senator. And suddenly, when we want to see Tony, we all see in the media that he was talking to Tony. Was it that he was he was the so, we the so we be in the diaspora, the people that have the voice, even people that Please keep keep your word short, please. So that that's okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. That's it. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bye. Uh -huh. Hello, caller. All right, please speak louder. Your name and where are you? Hello, hello. 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 Do for okay, um, I quite well that most people are very disappointed that the senator today uh, show up to the program as promised, and I quite understand their plight. I'm not downplaying their expectations at all, but the truth must be told. He had a program today because even yesterday. I knew quite well that he was preparing for this program to come to this program. Immediately this program started and he wasn't there, I quickly reached out to one or two people that I know. And I was told that he's an president that the dealer. He was called into a meeting. It's not that look, anybody is lying to you guys. And most importantly is that we have six months to election. If you know the senator very well, he's not somebody that disrespects anyone. And so I mean, in Agran and everything, he respected more, regardless of class, regardless of your uh, status in the society. So he would definitely come and speak to a those people directly by himself. I can promise you that. And this election, I always tell people, it's not about um, it's, a, it's a fight between a certain kind of people. People who, who believe in elitist kind of government and somebody that is grassrooted. Senator Mon, even before he went to Senate, he is already a grassroots oriented politician. And I can tell you that he would my, do well for a do state. My brother. The other said, maybe somebody, yes, sir, I'm listening. Yeah, if we have noise in your background. We are just trying to manage it. So, okay, sorry uh, about that. Mm, so, so I let, said, the other set of people. Or the other said, they claim that they are men with Sabi. But I can tell you that some of Monday is a man, is a doer, is a man of few words, like Goswin Negbe rightly said. He's not a talkative. He's somebody with few words, but he's a man that does exactly what he said. And I can All tell right. you that every All promise, right. you can bank on his promises that he's going to make to other people. 
All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we just managed that. Hello, caller. Let's take this one before we allow the. Okay, the line is bad. Let's go ahead. Uh, the, uh, Honorable, I think uh, let me just pick this last call right here for now. I have been muting like more than a thousand calls. Uh, hello, caller. Caller. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? My good caller, this is uh, Adjan. Okay. Adjan from Jersey. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, the good comment, I thank you very much. I expected this was going to happen, that it wasn't going to show up. Uh, you see, uh, this, if you look at the, the other one that just yeah. I don't need to sit there, you'll be so surprised that uh, is it uh, no. a or whatever? Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised that these guys are in the beer salon right now, and they are the other side. That's how they hate him. Mm -hmm. Akpakum is Akpakum is up. It's right there. It's not even in any garden meeting. These guys, you know who, who they think they are, right? They think this is how when they come out of so many so many DC. Uh, uh, so many DC in the end, they have their strategy. In the end, they know how to die battle people. Not this time. They mm. are shading mm. this guy away. They think this platform will people will be able to size the deficiency of uh, uh, model Pueblo. That is why they are taking him away from everybody. Trust me, he didn't go nowhere. I wasn't surprised to be. I just want to take thank you for this room standing your ground you have fulfilled your promise to everyone right right but there's a point i want to make who mm -hmm. stumble twice against a piece of stone it is probably a disgrace in the time these guys should just know this is not his time he should give asai rodalo his time thank you so much okay what do you have to say about that uh uh, uh speaker Adoro. or mute yourself well when people speak in this platform i <laughs> i used to think that somebody needs to be mature refined <laughs> enough before you can come to the public and start speaking i uh, I, my integrity is my collateral and I can use you need to bash for anything anytime just, any day. I just I, I cannot imagine myself saying that this is where Senator Monday Oprah will be and somebody is doubting it. It's unfortunate. I'm disappointed uh, about that. Uh, I do not see why I should hide the identity or whereabouts of Senator Monday Oprah. God is me. And God knows that Senator Mondo will have an appointment with Asorov. If you have his number, you can call his number where to go. If you have uh, Senator Comrade Adam Tochumulet number, you can try it or call anybody to know where you were about us. There is not the hidden two of them are there in Asorov. They are called. And why are we in haste? Monday will certainly come here and talk to the people. He will do campaign. If you don't want to campaign to the people, if you don't want to talk to the people of Beto State, how do we, where do we yearn for things you cannot, uh, you don't like a case where somebody dream that your father died. If your father don't die in the morning, to die in the afternoon, if the death of it come, definitely in the evening, the death must come. What it means that prayerfully, the father is supposed to die before a son. So whoever is ready to uh, contest for governorship of those state must know that he must talk to the people. And they don't already did on the first time. He contested for Senate and defeated somebody who was uh, a second timer in the Senate, who was contesting for the third time. With all the money, the love with the love he has for the people and the people have for him, he won overwhelmingly. So all this that we are talking about now in Edo, as Edo people, who they prefer. We are here talking about the, the, the absence of uh, somebody because he has sympathy for Aspen Godalo, who we have not seen, who is an Isha man who I don't even know, who have not we have not seen, who have been chairman of Sterling Park, I have no branch in this land, who did not support that Anakpa group when we are looking for money to create 
security, to solve security problem in Edo State. You are coming here to talk like a parrot. Is that what they don't need now? Has the not spoken enough? Is that what we need? We need action. We don't need MOU anymore. We don't need bankers. Bankers are coming to deceive the people. We don't need them. And the people, people that have been taught how to fraud, they will deceive you. You will not know it. So, Senator Modio Pevolo, I'm happy from the statistics we are gathering. He is the favorite candidate as we speak right now. And when the campaign starts, you will see the overlay overwhelm victory in September. So we are united in this front and we are ready to take Edo to where it should be. Modio Pueblo to not to talk to Edo people via this very significant platform. Eranomigo, if you don't know, this platform is one of the most powerful platforms with which you can reach Edo people. Senator Modio Pueblo knows this. He have high regard for you as a person. He have high regard for you and your platform and the people therein. So for anybody to believe to himself, to think that Monte has no regard for him, to hear from him, if you are busy today, create time for when Monte Okwelo will come. Even when you are not there, when he finally comes, you will get the clip to watch. So why are we in haste? Are we going to be more Catholic than the Pope? Because uh, things are difficult. Are we going to go to the mortuary, by, uh, go to the burial ground by ourselves and get ourselves buried? We won't do that. We are ready for this. And by the grace of God, when you, when you hear from his meekness, deep humility, high sense of regard, you will know that a God sent has come. Power comes from God. If you see the movement as the, of Senator Modi Okwewo, you will know that Monde Okwebole is God sent. In the primary of APC, everybody least expected Monde will become the candidate. But before you know it, he's silently with his uh, powerful uh, negotiating power, got the ticket of the party and the people voted for him. He knows how to do it. Don't underrate him. The more you underrate uh, Monde Okwebo, the more you are digging a political grave around yourself. So, I have been mandated by Senator Modi Okwewo to tell this platform or the people of Edo State via this platform that he regrets not coming here today. It was not his making. That he must create time, no matter what it cost him, to not to reach these people, to continue to reach Edo. Yeah, I think we're having a network breakdown here. Maybe he got a call. Uh, let's wait for for him to come out. Uh, caller, uh, I think we have a call somewhere on the phone. Your name, I will. Pa. Yes, your I name, will, I will. Now, now, John, they talk to you. Pa. Okay, go pa. ahead. Hmm. Pa, you know, say I can call you that day. Eh? Not let people deceive you this time. Wait, 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 wait. You people are yes. making it all about me. Don't set me up. You people should not set me okay. up for anything. No, wait, okay, wait, okay. wait. Stop. Right now, we have 1,300 people watching live. Senator Modi Okpeboro, I am doing him a favor. They are not doing him a favor. I'm not running. I, this is a dependent platform right now. So you people making it, can you go and tell Igmanedion, oh, Igmanedion is setting you up. Can you? Why are you people trying to set me up against one another? I don't want that. Go Sorry, ahead sir. and talk what you want to Sorry, say sir. and go. Hey, but you see the other man when he come from the uh, UK when they talk when you try to stop him. See, I know they against what the people know whether he come to or he not come. Make they not use that Epoma Aouchi or Kenya road. Eh? Uh -huh. Use them as say now what did they want to campaign with that? You understand? Let the girls forget that when the people do not come this morning. Maybe get special meeting. That's why not become. Maybe not use that road matter. They stand as their campaign. And the other one, this other man when he talk, I know him very well when he talk to you. So I know I reach out. This man, when you talk about the PDP senator for uh, Eastern Central, when when they because the PDP senator, the guy not listening. If he listening. The whole Eastern Central, 
special words, all of the things I say, step down because only two times you go go. You know, yeah, he was wrong for the top ten. Now, all the Asian people gather together, vote for the All the Asian central, Asian West, gather together, vote for the Okwemulu. Let me say, the man, this that man stepped down for another person to call represent PDP. Nobody will take that post from that place. I know they are against Mother Pemulu, you understand? But those guys, when they call, when they call, they talk, they talk, go here, talk, go there. I bet me they go sit down. All of them are the same. That first one, when they talk to you, I know I reach out. When they say in a media, something, something to Pemulu. Mm -hmm. This one, last one, when they talk to you, so I know I reach out. They'll be deceiver. No, don't, don't use that. Don't use that word. Don't use that word. Don't use that word. I'm going to pick another call. Okay. Uh, uh, my brother, Honorable Goswin, do you have any response to that? So that we can let you go. Unmute yourself. Uh, unmute yourself. Mm. Okay, let's pick one call before yes. you meet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've done that. Okay. Uh, caller, hold on, hold on. Uh, caller, hold on. Go ahead, uh, Honorable Goswin. Uh, once again, thank you so much, uh, Mega Comrades. Let me tell you, amigo, as I want to thank you because of this platform. When you don't put in place, when enable everybody all over the world to express themselves. You know, just like the last caller said, I, I couldn't get the name again when saying no, or switch out, say no, me. John, John, from, from, John from, from Europe. And well, I don't know. Well, but however, uh, you see, I noticed that they what some of them, they keep brief. Although, although these people, I'm not surprised because some of them, they are PDP uh, sympathizers. It's normal. Everybody has interest. In, politics is a game of interest. That's just the truth. It's a game of interest. So once you have an interest you are promoting, I don't have any problem with it at all. But when you have an interest you are projecting, don't think that that interest you are projecting should override the interest of others. No, everybody has no interest when it comes to politics. Now, you know, they keep referring to because of the crisis in PDP. That was why the senator won the election in the last central election in Edo Central, Central District. But what they don't know is this. If you noticed when I'm making my presentation, I speak authoritatively with facts because I am sitting on a vintage position of knowledge. I am an eyewitnesses, eyewitness, eyewitness to the political events that led to the electoral victory of Senator Monde Okwebo in Edo Central Central District. How? Apart being his director of media and publicity, I was the APC spokesman for that campaign, that campaign all through the 51 wards and hundreds of units in Edo Central Central Districts. So I was active both online and offline. Now, when they keep referring to that election because of the crisis in PDP. Well, I don't want to totally say yes, that one does not count. But the silly question is that during that, when the result was declared, what position did PDP came from? PDP took third position. It was Labour. It was Labour that came second. Mm -hmm. So if it was true that it was the crisis of PDP that gave Oakwell the victory, so what happened to Labour who came second? In that election, PDP came third. My mega company, I don't understand if you can understand my analysis here. So what I'm saying, what played a pivotal role in that election was the political goodwill of the candidacy of Monde Okbebolu, a.k.a. Akpakomiza. His track record, his political antecedents, what he was doing years far back, even when he has not comprehend of contesting for any political position. As far back as 2005 and 2006, this man have already started drilling boy holes in different community. I know, my dear brother, you are familiar with his story. What led to his decision to be, you know, drilling boy holes in different community? Because of the loss of his only sister, 
who died as from the cause of complication from a stream water he she drank after washing her clothes on the stream of course maybe the soda they used to wash clothes at that time is caustic yes chemical so I drink the water i used to i used to wash clothes like that too god bless you sir that was because so because at that time so there is no good medic medic health care so when she came by oh my belly oh, my stomach oh, my, that's why she shouted nobody could understand what was going on and she died innocently and that day this this senator was a young man then cried after crying later he prayed to god god if you bless him he will ensure that this problem of water not just in his community the major problem in this land my mega comrade is water because at uh, those central central city district is located in a typographical area where to water is very difficult to get like some places in there don't not and i don't start when you drip boil hole as you know 200 to 150 to 250 me, uh, meters you will have water but in those central if there are some area you will drop to a thousand plus two thousand you don't even see water so this man make a vow to god god should bless him he will solve this problem and eventually when god bless blessed him as a young man the first million naira he made that was what he used to to, to drill boy hole in his cup in his community that village where that stream was where they were going to where the, the sister went to that took, drank water and that he he also showed and uh, showed that he, he, he put a boy hole there and as i speak today across the five local governments in the those central central district at least at least this man have one boy hole projects Executed in those local government, and he we did all you. this as I said before. Uh, uh, so, 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 uh, sir, so, sir, so, so, let me summarize. Uh, so, uh, so, let me summarize, please. We believe yes. you, no but problem. the problem is that what you are saying now have not been demonstrated to Edo people in twenty years. Yes. Senator yes. Senator mm -hmm. have given us his word twice. Mm. That mm. I fail. So mm. all this story mm. now mm. is a good story. So. Mm. But unfortunately, like me, I'm not buying into it. Speaking for me, dependent mind. So we have to be, we have to, we're going to pick only one last call so that I can allow you to go do whatever you want to do. But I have more than 1,000 people. If I allow them to call, hello, caller, we cut you off, please. Caller, hello? Uh, yeah, your name and where are you calling from? Go ahead. This is David from Atlanta. Okay, go ahead. Brother. Yes. These your people that are calling and condemning this man. I don't I'm not from Edo State. I don't know any of them, but these people calling and condemning these people. Mm -hmm. They are the PDP in the other side. Okay, where they is it? Wait, they, wait, they stop, not, stop, stop, the stop, actual, stop, call them. stop, stop. Where are the APC? Where are they? Do they stop them listen, not to call? Listen, listen, let me finish now. You know no, we got to be honest. Agree. No, you can't just throw something. No, wait, wait, let me hold you. No, I won't let you, I won't let you say that. This is a APC man, right here, right now. We have advertised, hold on, we have advertised Modu Beburu better than any other person. I am not, not doing the right thing. That's true. That's, that's true, sir. That's so, true. what are you talking? No, I will not allow that. I will not allow that to fly. I say PDP are calling. No. Before I swear you go that look calling, nobody advertising. True or false? When he said he was coming, he came. I did not advertise him. I did not post his poster. From there, he captured a lot of people's mind. Let me be honest. We have to be honest. I'm speaking from independent mind. If I do not know Senator Modu Kweburu today, if I do not know him, I know the kind of man that he is. I will be, I will be like them. But I got to be honest. So when people say, oh, they are PDP, they are PDP. Listen, excuse always given when you fail. When you win, nobody give excuse. As an APC, when I leave this show, it is my duty to tell 
anybody outside this show. I will talk to them. My party, this is how it's supposed to be. But right now, I'm an independent. So I don't want people to be saying PDP are calling, PDP are calling. Where are the APC? Do they not have cell phone? Honorable, do you, I don't think what I'm saying if it makes sense or not. <laughs> Of, of, of course, you, your point is valid, uh, the great mega coverage. You know, the, the, yeah, your point is valid. I, we, the truth is, as you rightly said, is this. You know, uh, you've created a platform whereby everybody have equal treatment, fairness to you. And uh, we deeply appreciate everyone that have called in, even those that criticize. See, criticism... For me, as someone who is actively involved in politics, I see criticism as if as a PMS, as we call it in Nigeria, that you put into your vehicle to fuel your vehicle to get to your destination. If you take good criticism in good faith, you use them as a raw material to work so that you can get the best out of what you do in life. Uh, but while criticizing, it's also good that we put certain things into cognizance by also trying to be fair in the process of criticizing. You know, since I've been talking, I try as much as possible not to talk about the PDP flag bearer who is running against Senator Modi Okpewulu. And the reason why is that when it is time for campaign, we will tell you those state people, the truth, who will campaign? Who will, will make that to understand to see the two individuals that are involved? And of course, we will also bring out, let's see their antecedents. Because it is, of course, within the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, it is the inalienable rights of any citizen to aspire for any political position. However, in before you think of running for any position, it is good that you should be able to also show to people your political antecedents, your track record, what you've done before. That is where the senator is, is ahead above all other gubernatorial candidates in this incoming election. He has something that he can tell the adult people what he has done even before he contested for Senate, and why he's in the Senate. He has what to tell the Edo people, the central district where he represents, what he has able to do in the few months he has spent in the rent chambers. You know, if you re recall before, I, I made a statement before, that the senator is an alternate government, alternate government in Edo central central district. Why? You know, that is not a campaign statement. Is a statement of facts. Because, as I said before, the state government, despite the five billion naira that federal government gave to the state government as palliative, which the state government even agreed that they use for transportation, the few buses that this, the governor Basaki led administration said that they have used that money to provide for, to carry people for free transportation, does not even, the, 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 the people from the Edo Central and I don't know, and major aspect of Edo South, they don't benefit from that program. But you have a senator who has a transportation system in Edo Central that runs from Monday to Monday, that runs from morning to evening, free of charge. Come on, how many senators in Nigeria can has able to provide that in their, in their constituency? Even how many city governors are able to don't do that in their own states? They might have done that. These are facts. These are very verifiable facts. Are not propaganda. As anybody can go to Edo Central and carry out their, his or her independent investigation. They might have done that. Just as I was talking about the issue of boy who we're talking about before you said I should call just now. As I was saying, the issue of water is a major challenge in Edo Central Central District. Successive government from the federal government, state government, local go government, they told uh, those central people, properly known as the Eastern people, that they cannot have water because water is not found in uh, those central. That was the lie, the big lie that the uh, those, uh, those central people were told over the years. But today, that lie, the senator Modokwebo 
has demonstrated by his scheme of providing water for communities that if you are set to achieve any goal, you can achieve it. You know, someone mentioned the other day that some of those who are, I want to, on this platform, challenge that person. I want to challenge them to show which of the boyhoods sank or drilled by the senator that is not functioning in a dozen central central districts. You know, some of these boyhoods, quick, let me tell you, uh, mega comrades. I, and I want your honest opinion on this. When someone goes to a community and drill a boyhood, put overhead tank, provide the generator sets, and hand over the project to the community. Is it still fair that the person that provided that project is the one that will be seized bringing money to fed the generator set to pump the water? Mm -hmm. So one or two of these boyhood that people say are not running, go and find out what is the challenge. You will find out that they will say the generator set that is there, there's no fair to power the generator set to pump the water. And the senator said, look, I have handed over the project to this community. The community should take ownership, take ownership of the project. Then provide for, for the generator set to pump this water so that the people can get this water. That is just the honest truth to anyone that will say it's not rushing. But in terms of technical sadness of those projects, there's nothing wrong with anyone. Every project that the boy project that state have executed as far back as 2006, 2007, they are still functioning today. And I start to be challenged on this. Okay, okay. God bless you. Uh, my mm -hmm. advice on that one, we have people, let me tell you, honorable, I know yes, no matter what I do, criticism is going to come. More than 1,000 missed calls. Yes. If I pick all the whole court today, only God knows. So I have someone that has been waiting for almost 10 to 15 minutes. So let him just talk. Concerning the borehole, yes. I think senators should be using solar solar energy to power it. That is my opinion. Okay. Uh, opinion, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Go okay. ahead, okay. Uh, uh, caller. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Yeah, hello, Mr. Comrade. Yes. Uh, Good evening. I am calling from UK, please. Okay. Uh, I want to thank I want to thank you for the program today. Yeah. Um. I also want to thank my brother, uh, Mr. Goswin, for making this available. You know. Uh. But um, there are some observations I want to make with with regards to what uh, my brother has been saying. You know, he has been mentioning boroughs uh, frequently. That. Uh, Abakomi that did on a, or as a personal project before he came into politics. That is a good, it's, it's a good one. I have nothing against that, you know. But I also watched uh, the other, uh, the other PDP man, Igudalo, that said that he also gave scholarship to his people on a personal level. So everybody has done something on a personal level. What we are saying now is, let Abakomi that come on the platform. Let us ask him his plans for education, his plans for healthcare, his plans. For for different aspects of the of our economy, that's what we want to know. Yes, everybody has done something on a personal level. One said he did scholarship. One said he did borrow. That's fine. Nothing about nothing wrong about that. But at the community has to come to the platform okay. to tell uh, to tell uh, how he's going to achieve improve education, improve healthcare, improve the civil service. So how he's going to fund the infrastructure. That's what the people want to ask him. So and Mr. Gossip cannot answer those questions because he's not running. That's so that is my that okay. is what I just observed here. Okay, thank you. I let me quickly let me let me let, me let uh, let me let Honorable yeah. respond to you just three minutes, then I will go ahead and and so go ahead, Honorable. Yes, yes, I you want to appreciate th thank you so much. Yes, the last caller, thank you so much. He made a valid point. Of course, the senator is soliciting votes from Edo people. And the adult people has the right to ask the senator certain questions regarding his agenda for the state. I totally agree. And that's why I'll be appealing that by the grace of God, we are going to ensure that the senator appears on this platform so that opportunity will be given to everyone to ask the question they want to ask. And the senator will now respond to those questions. They have the right to find out from the senator to know what is his plan. I mean, sectorial plans as far as the state is concerned. 
Thank, thank you very much, sir. Because uh, that, that's the because I, I just said you were focusing too much. So, on, uh, uh, so, so I agree. I, I agree with the last caller. Mm. Mm. Allow it. Understand that. Everybody, everybody, everybody mm. can be a philanthropist, but mm. we, we need it to come. We need it to come. Yes. Okay, let me. Yes, end he, it will, he will. He will. He will. Mm. Uh, he on. will. I have to be honest Sir. with you. What I will say in the, in the mm. private, when we are talking privately, I want to say in the public. I will tell you mm. what now. Before our senator, Senator Modi Okbevoro, a.k.a. Akbakomiza, yes. Bakomiza. before yes. we come to this show, the director of the media is here now. I have given mm. him two days. They have to pay you. Because <laughs> when things are, very, are free, you don't value it. If they book ITV, they book channel, they book uh, Aras News and pay for it, they would don't want to lose their money. So because it was free, I did it out of my will, and uh, we have lost a lot of my fans. Have lost hours that Senator Modu Kweburu cannot pay for. I myself, I lost almost five hundred dollar on Sat on Saturday. Um, uh, yes, on Saturday when I did not go to work, I lost five twelve hours. So today, mm -hmm. thank God, I told him I was not going to call him at work. And I'm not ready to lose any other money. So I want you to relay this information to us. That yes. is owing, is owing us. So he's owing us. Most especially is owing me. So uh, I want your word to know if you did not see Senator Modokwe here, then you know that he has not paid. That is why he's not here. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Mega comrade. <laughs> no, no, sir. No, sir. Mm. In, 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 okay. Once again, I want to say thank you. You are an illustrious son of a do state, and we are all proud of you. And thank everyone that is participating in this platform, this is an do platform, which we are proud of. And I and I said that by the grace of God, on my own, we ensure that the senator appears on this platform to come and talk to the Edo people that he wants to govern. He will do that and let the people also have the opportunity to ask him some questions, which is their evil right to do, sir. So whoever that is angry, I still want to appeal that they should exercise some restraints and uh, give the benefit of doubt to Senator Moduk by Wereke Akpakomiza. At the time when we will appear, definitely, I believe that some of us will be happy with him, the way he will respond to some of those uh, questions. Even though he might not be respond to some of those questions uh, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, verbosely, I mean, long, in a long form, but the premium of the questions will surely be it will be tackled and justice will be done. And at the end of the day, everyone will certainly be satisfied with him. And quickly, I want to correct the pressure. Well, you know, earlier today, someone was saying that whether the senator is, is scared of appearing in a video or be recorded. I went that, I heard that, I was just smiling and I shook, I just shook my head. And the reason why I did that, that this is someone who contested for Senate. During the Senate, he, 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 he engaged so many media he carries so, so many media engagements, so many interviews, so many press interviews and all that. We are recorded. The records are... People can go to Facebook and, you know, can some I, of those videos are there. Can I help you clear that? Maybe you didn't understand their point. Their point okay. is that it's, mm. it's, uh, when they say that it means that a do to face a do, this is raw. This is authentic. Okay. This is not okay. a stage. Uh, if mm. you go to channels new today, we will not value because they pay. Mm. China is going to ask what they want them to ask. It's called brainwash mm. media, mainstream media. We don't value it. So this is raw. And then you okay. and I know the truth that the APC, mm. about, they are afraid. They're scared. That is the fact. That is our belief. That they're scared. Mm. And uh, you are here now. You are present. We have to have yes. Lord give give honor to who who, who, who deserve it. Igo Dalo have done what Senator Modupeuro have unable to do. And I'm telling you now, you go down, they are pressing me, his people are pressing me, he want to come back. So, don't be surprised, it will be here, maybe next week, next two weeks, then APC will be crying in the platform and say, ah, why is he going there? Nobody's holding Modokweuro not to come.
So I just want to make that clear. That is what they are talking mm -hmm. about. If you like, it, go to ITV. Okay. So it's not that. They say he's shy. He don't want to face a dope people. These are raw. We don't know these people calling. We don't know them. Some are your brother from your own village, from your own, from your own street. <laughs> that is why PSS station room. People, mm. politicians are afraid. That is the fact. You know the truth. Okay. The the the, the point is is clear, Nasa. But yeah. I, I I assure you that Senator Modi is uh, equipped for the task. He, asks, he, he actually asked for this job. So he asks for he, he it was his own decision. Yes, these are, yes. These these are, are part, part of it. Job. Exactly, exactly. It was his decision. Job. So it's part so of it. So there is, no, there is no running away from it. Uh, my mm. last question, I'm shutting this, uh, call it down. No more calls, don't call. Yes, sir. I'm not going to answer. Mm. My last mm. question for you so that I can let you go. Uh, yes, sir. Before, before we ruin this and they will blame me and you. <laughs> <laughs> My last question is that uh, yes, as a member of APC, and yes, uh, you have been there, you are very close to Senator Modo Pueuro. Do yes, you sir. think that you people rely on federal might so much that you disregard it with the masses? Did you not see danger in it? Well, uh, my beloved brother, in whom I'm well pleased, the truth is that we the recent uh let me help you. development no let i me, promise sir there's a word there's a word I, there was a the word i want to use with the recent revolution in our electoral system for instance when we talk about the INEC uh, uh system of conducting election now like what we've seen during the presidential and the national house of assembly if anybody is still thinking that there is a way of winning an election with that not seeking the votes from the masses or from the support from the masses, such person, he or him is deceiving. In fact, it's a broad daylight deceit for such human being. Our electoral system has been revolutionized to a greater extent. That today you saw what happened in the last presidential election. So the point I'm making is that for us and for the candidates, he is not depending on the federal might. He's going is depending on the might of the electorates, okay. the might of the voters. Do you know why? That I'm is that why. Question, honorable. Okay, sir. Yes, Do you sir. Know why? Mm. Because no, sir. In a do mm. today. Yes, sir. Uh, this will help your campaign. I'm not supposed to do yes. this. Okay, but I'm telling you, I will do the same to to a barista a Hodalo. Yes. Because in every household in Edo South, in Edo mm. State, before you count for house, there is one or two people in the house are true or false. That's true, sir. Okay. Like my mother now, like my house now. Mm. I can boast of maybe let's say about 30 votes or 40, just in my household. My father has 17 children. Their kids are already 20 grand grand kids. So let's say 100 mm. votes right there, for example. Mm. Mm. Whoever I tell them to vote for, who is they going to vote for? Mm. Neglecting, avoiding diaspora, and those masses at home. Don't you think that if the other party continue to bank diaspora support, that APC are not going to repeat the first strategy of 2020 because okay, they blame it for Buhari. So can you tell us today, God forbid, if APC lose, that you people will not blame it on Tenobu. Blame no, it on no, 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 first, first, thank you so much. First and foremost, APC will not lose this election. What if that, no man is No, gone? no, okay, okay. I understand. Paraventure, let me use that word. Paraventure, that's what we are trying to say Federal now. Federal might was against Tinubu not to become yes. president. Federal mm. power was against nah. Tinubu. Nah, nah. <laughs> mega comrade. If you listen to my analysis before, I didn't even mention that. I said before that the senator, his strength, his confidence, his victory in this election is depending 
on the voters, the electorate in those states. Okay. The man conducted the election before against establishment. The governor was supporting the then senator in a do central central district, Senator Clifford Odia. He was a service senator and supported by a city governor in a do state. The man, because Akpa Komisa was the man of the people, the masses came out, they elected him and he won. And he 8, won. About 8,000 votes. I can't no, it right now. And okay, well, more than, depending who he won with, no. if you calculate, the PDP have 25,000 plus in that vote. PDP have uh, PDP have mm -hmm. 25,245. Mm -hmm. Yes. PDP have 41,344. Yes. Labour yes. Party have 32,544. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. That is the road. That was why. If you recall that way, some people were saying it was the crisis in, in the PDP that led to his victory. You just read the results. The PDP they are saying because of their crisis, you can see the distance between the 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 the, the Oak results and the PDP candidates' results. So PDP was not even even saying said that if there was no crisis, the result shows that they would have even worried. It was the labor that was even the threat. So despite the labor wide wind that was blowing around the country, then. Okpe will survive. I mean, when I say Okpe will see the more Okpe will see the Okpe survived in Edo Central. Why? Because of the masses. Because of his political track record, his goodwill. Because of his philanthropic uh, endeavors he has engaged over the years, even when he didn't imagine or contemplate that he was going to contest the election. He became a household name for his goodwill, for his humanitarian services in this land. So when somebody comes here and say uh, this election, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to take this election between the two people contesting, because we, we, we as I always tell people, even as much I'm very active on social media, I'm still very active off social media. I'm an active politician, so I can tell you the dynamics in the Edo state political environment. But let us not even go into those areas. Because they say as soon as speaks, this man, this senator we're talking about, you can see how he won the election based on the good from the masses from the people. My mega comrade, as early as 1 a.m. to 1 p.m. 2 p.m. on that election day, that's the election, result was already be declared and Modo Pebo was being celebrated across the central district. His victory was not contested because it was clean, free, and fair. Mm -hmm. So it is the same modus operandi in law, so to say, the same process and procedure, the same mentality, this orientation that is carrying to this state election, not the federal might that people are trying to use. The man is going to meet with the people. Please. My victory is in your hands, and I know you can do it because I have this. Is what I have done for my people in my central district, I want to come to. Rep I want to replicate it at the state level. I want this state to get out of its current position where nothing, absolutely nothing, is working. That is, we, that is the reason why, if you check our campaign slogan, we said that a new Edo is rising. How do we get? That slogan, because from what this, the candidacy of Senator Mondeoke will represent, he represents a new Edo that is riding from the current doldrums, that is riding from the current, you know, infrastructural decay, from the current economic, you know, that trump that we are experiencing in the state. Because what he has successfully done in Edo Central as an alternate government, people have the trust in him that he'll be able to replicate it at the state level. The question now is those who are contesting with him from other political parties, what track record do they have to show? What have they done before politically? Of course, we respect the PDP candidate who on his private sector he has been successful for himself and his family. All these years, you'll be chairman of various uh, organizations. The question that the people are asking, what have your people benefited from all these positions you have occupied over the years? 
It was when you now you have intention to contest election. That's when you realize that you came from a central district. That's why you realize that you, there's a need for you to be coming around to your home. That's why you realize that, yes, you need to do certain things. No, the people are not stupid. They are not foolish. The voters, when I say the voters, the organic voters who will come out on that day and mass and go and cast their vote, they are not stupid. They are not foolish. They know the person that will be with them. They know the person who have genuine, sincere interests. They know the person who is elected as governor will genuinely and sincerely, you know, bring that development that they desire. And quickly, I want to round up without not being trying to attack any candidate of any party. But I must state a fact. The understanding of most people today in those states is that the candidacy of barrister Aswelime Igodalo is a Baseki totem agenda. Obaseki ah. stood up in this state. He has a top term uh, agenda. My brother, Obaseki is not running. I will say the same thing. It's it, not yes, running. Yes, it's not, it, it's it's not uh, running. Uh, but he's playing the role of Godfather. against Obaseki, he should have done it four years ago. I don't want uh, any Obaseki issue here. Yeah. Igodalo is the one running. Okay, uh, okay. Well, well the point I was trying to make. For seven years plus, uh, when APC was with Obaseki, they hated uh, me. When the PC the that to, no, I have to be honest. Yes. So anything about yes. Baseki, I don't discuss it anymore. <laughs> you remember when I was fighting about Baseki? All of you, of are course, when say party now, mm. exactly. Mm. So mm. they said everything I'm saying is a lie. They cannot come back and tell us now that it's not mm. true when it's not in another mm. side. So, uh, where, uh, where, <laughs> where I where I think the point so quickly, much. the point, I, yeah. the point I was just try to make is this: He fought against Godfather, I mean the Baseki. Now, now he wants to become the new godfather in the state. I think that's just the point. Yes. And well, the other people said, No, America, they don't want we it. Have godfather in politics. There must be a godfather. Yes. Mm. Uh, when but the same was that he fought against. Uh, Senator Shomule, I came yes. out and defended the Senator Shomule that godfather is, mm. is everywhere mm. all over the world. So, mm. political godfather is, is placed everywhere. So, mm. nobody can eradicate it. So, mm. I, no, is, well, you know, I appreciate it, it, your man. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Right. Yes. I think in this part of the world, mm. the understanding where well, I, I think is a is a misplaced understanding, so to say, in quotes. Mm. That when you say Godfather, people think that is uh, someone who will ensure that the the treasury, so to say, of the states where the Godfather has been able to influence the God's son to govern over will now become the the fifth deposit of that godfather and that's why you see the connotation of godfatherism in this part of the world is rather negative in the mentality or the subconsciousness of most people in this part of the world but in the developed nations like the climb where you lived i quite agree it's not that way it's not that pattern because yeah, there's godfatherism uh Honorable Goswill, uh, oh. I think he has a network problem. Honorable Goswill, I uh, now let, so let me talk to you one minute. We gotta go, yes, have to let you go before we ruin it. Do you have yes, a sir. godfather? No, oh. that is the truth. Like, just like my brother, aka Akba Komiza. Does yes. he have a godfather? Ah, uh, mega comrade. Now, the primary election speak has not taken care of that. Now, you saw no. what happened with the primary election. No. Huh? No, it's all happened with the primary election. We, 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 we uh, are seeing with the media. We are seeing, uh, we know what yes. is happening. So, yes. uh, I thank you so much. I love this show right now. I am praying to God <laughs> we to end it in the best way that yes. you can that you will go home. And yes. we, they will appreciate you. Before, yes. As I'm talking to you, now, course, are coming in. I <laughs> Your phone is out. <laughs> So, yes, uh, I will predict this today. The Godfather, yes. the Kaba, mm. will not allow Senator Modupeuro to come to this show and speak to you people. <laughs> that is the fact. I want to say the manga. So, uh, people that are right, don't expect mm. him to come because I know uh, the Kaba are working. He's a good man. Mm. Uh, he has yes. defended his cause uh, yes. very well. But uh, mm. the fact is that uh, no man is God. Uh, I want true. to say this in the media. During that mm. primary, I have my principal. Everybody mm. have their own. We didn't of have. Course. 
Uh -huh. Who said he was the he was the is the one that said God that we say mm. that nobody mm. who gave Modupeuro a chance. The chance, but, exactly. Uh, I, I'm yeah, saying, I, I, yes. I told them, I told them that Senator Modupeuro is a threat. I told them, but nobody believed me. Uh, <laughs> so uh, today, <laughs> I will say this again. <laughs> the same mm. way happened to Modupeuro, it can happen to mm. anybody. So mm. uh, my people. I want to beg you, tell the cabal yes. to let the be Ukweuru. They yes. are making it look bad. Every mm. successful story about Modupeuru you have said today, we are yes. hearing it. But the mm. truth is that we are not believing it by its action. Okay. So they, you should beg them, let them let Modupeuru be Modupeuru. Modupeuru have a story that he can tell the whole world. That yes. I mean, a story that you will feel, you will. So I'm telling you, I'm yeah. just telling you from my bottom of my heart. Yes. If your Modupe will go to campaign tomorrow and start shouting, we will not believe because his track record since he become a candidate is what we're gonna follow. On another yeah. way, as when you go that low, who could have thought I will be talking about as when you go that low, a PDP yeah. and Obaseki a uh, good friend, but I come to see him as a genuine man. Who will tell you I will be there and it will be there? There's no sugar cut in the body. He has proven it to have the whole world. So I want the same thing from Modupeuro. Please tell him, let Modupeuro build his credibility in public domain. Running for senatorial race is not the same thing as running for gubernatorial race. We are talking of different federal constituency that think differently that behave differently the way edosa behave is not the way it's behave it's not the way i uh, i do not behave so please let him know uh that uh, he have removed uh food out of my children's table uh, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I, I wish you good luck i wish you good luck uh mm. when i left my show i am an apc independent man so yes. when i left my show I am completely independent. It's just like those traditional rulers who play politics. Once they leave politics, they go wear their traditional shirt, right? Mm. So mm. Uh, if they come into politics in the field, traditional day, a part not carry by vote. Uh, while I go start, yeah, no. it go start uh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that, uh, that, that, <laughs> thank you so much, sir. My God, come quickly before we shut down. Uh, I just want to quickly say that Senator Monday, Okpewolu, A.K. Akpakomiza. The gubernatorial flag bearer of APC in Edo State mm. has tremendous respect for Edo people in diaspora. I'm not just saying that because my principal. I'm saying I say that to say this that if you recall, immediately after the primary election, he actually had a short trip when he traveled out of the country. It was he traveled to US and visited some state in the US. And I can show you the series of meetings he had there where with uh, do people in diaspora. For instance, no, the diaspora... No, not with uh, do people in diaspora, I object that. No, he no, like the diaspora I mean, APC, I mean, no. I live, I live in Dallas. It was okay. three hours away from me. I want to be in uh, show. It's very raw. Uh, so no, I know he will, he, will, he, will, he will be here. The point I wanted to make is that he had a meeting with APC diaspora council. No, legend now, those are, Professor those London. is a uh, Dr. Mm. Yahoo Yahoo from South Africa. As a lemon, he's a froster, he's not a uh, wrong people. Mega that is the question. Mm. No, where, 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 as I said before, these are the people who are no, not living in Nigeria now. You are agree with me. E -N -A, mm. Okay, e -N -A, a okay, body, okay, he did not meet with a uh, he met with uh, that uh, South Africa Yahoo Yahoo. That's it. That claim a uh, diaspora council. He's not a diaspora. He has no green card. He's not a resident in America. He's a resident okay. in South Africa. So he's just a political froster. That is what I call him. He's watching right now. So Okpewuro always find of finding himself in a wrong place. He have time for wrong place. No, no, he have time no, for no. That is the truth. No. No, well, I, I think uh, now that you, you just mentioned this, this now, you see, this is one thing I like about you. If I did raise this issue now, 
I won't even you read some part of what you just said. It is not my responsibility to go ahead and investigate this thing. But he I can say you are the Okpewo. Yeah, yes. Okpewo on his own at the point he did that. He did that from his own as as someone who is meeting a do people in the Let me you understand. You so, like that before you go. Uh, Let me say public domain is watching right now. Yes. Uh, I know where he stays here. I know his friend has that he stays. He just came to the United States. I asked him, who, who told you to be the diaspora council chairman? He said, mm. as a baby. As a baby, uh, in, eight years ago or nine years ago, it's not a part of uh, APC. He said okay. they send it to Mexico. I told him, go okay. to Mexico. This is America. You cannot come from South Africa. You are not resident here. You don't even have bill. You are not paying bill. You don't have an address, no green card, no citizenship. Can you allow anybody from uh, Kogi to just come and claim that he's the owner of uh, Edo Central when he has no address, have no home? So it's a fraud. So what they do, they okay. organize council. These are political mm. yao yao boys. I call him South okay. Africa yao yao. So what they do, they form a group. He, he is the one, he will use one uh, ambassador to call you. He will tell you his ambassador mm. with a different voice. Then he will not say his boss will come and talk to you. He will not come as a professor and doctor did the same man. So Senator Modo Pavero should be very careful. I'm the one saying it. Mm. Okay. I know him. That is how he brought mm. his, uh, his excellency Agba. I invest mm. he didn't know that I know Agba. I conducted mm. underground investigation. I am in mm. that is what I do. So mm. when I found out, I caught I caught him away from Agba. He told me not to support Agba, to support uh, uh, Victor Boegbe. He was not supporting mm. Okweburo. I'm telling mm. you now that uh, South African Yao Yao man is mm. he did not support Okweburo. He support Victor Boegbe. So he was trying to collect money from different aspects. I cut him off from Agba. Cause me, I love Agba so much. I don't yes. allow anything to go <laughs> anything. Agba value his name. When my mm. daughter met Agba, he said, Daddy, he said, this man, he value his name more than anything. Agba, no, they play with his name. So, mm. uh, please, don't repeat that mistake in another Not place. Oh, it should not be not, close okay. to Kuro at all. He can mm. cast okay. to fan with our APC. The good or mm. the bad, you should not claim it. Mm. OZ, OZ, you know yes. OZ? Engineer, yes, yes. Uh, uh, okay. mm. He must be, okay, yes. He's the president of Diaspora. He's the chairman of Diaspora. Okay. That is the authentic, and it's also Definitely. the apex leader of a uh, world local government. Mm, yes. When you ask, uh, ask nice. Salame, where do you vote? Where is your word? Where do you? Where is your voter's card? Yes. Ask you question. Where did you register as a PC member? So we are not going to allow the this uh, uh, the, to turn this government to Yao Yao government, South Africa Yao Yao. So God bless you. Uh, I Thank you so much. Let's get out of the show before it gets out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy the show. I, 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 I wish I could just continue, you know, uh, talking, but we need to hang up here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so God much. All right. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Bye -bye. All right. All right. Bye bye, sir. Hey, bye bye. People, uh, I want to thank everybody. We still have a thousand, a thousand one hundred and thirty people watching right now. Uh, it just good. 1,109 people watching right now. I thank you all. We are two, almost two hours, 30 minutes on the show. Uh, we have done well. Uh, <laughs> so we have done well. Uh, like me, if uh, Dr. Igodalo come and I see he's hanging, uh, hanging himself with uh, wrong people, I will still tell Igodalo, just like I said, that man is a South African, is the one that calls South Africa, yahoo, yahoo. he must find a way he must find a way to penetrate any candidate. So uh, that is that is his job. And if you see their platform, it's all Yahoo Yahoo boys, Yahoo Yahoo South Africa, Yahoo Yahoo boys. That is almost all of them, uh, seventy percent of it. Uh, I, I, it's a fraud. It's a fraud. APC should not take him serious. Mm. So that that is the part. Uh, Oh God, let me just block you so that you can go. Don't insult anybody here. Yeah? Maybe go and create an account, another account. I love you all. Right now, uh, I have to go to work. We thank God Almighty. I want to thank everybody that watched this show. Uh, and uh, tomorrow is going to be, is going to be bumper to bumper. I'm going to be making a huge announcement tomorrow. A huge one, heavy announcement. 
So, okay. <laughs> uh, not at all. Me, I am a very honest man. Everybody knows me. I don't sugarcoat anything. That is it. I say it the way it is. So, uh, the media director have done a standing job today. Everybody need to appreciate him. Mona clap for him. He don't try. He try well, well. Mona clap. He no easy to come less than a minute. Hey, Mona give him a thumbs up to come and defend. <laughs> you see how he managed the situation here with a, a former speaker, Chief uh, Doro. Uh, you all should applaud them and thank them for, you know, for explaining the situation. But however, let's see how it goes. Uh, or God, where they talk, say, uh, where will this, where will that? You get platform. May you go invite and call your platform. You hear? Go, if an amigo did not do it right, you go and do it right. All right? Mm. This one says, what are you talking about, Henry? Everybody, what are you talking about? Let me bring it here. Um, let me quickly read it. Okay. So, anyway, I got to go to work, guys. I got to go. I love you all. I'm heading to work. Uh, tomorrow, Mega will formally give his... <laughs> There's a big announcement to make tomorrow. Uh, we are going to bring another heavy way to show. But tomorrow, we will be announcing it. So we can now bring in all political party uh, candidates. So we cannot bring them in. And uh, there's an announcement I'm going to make tomorrow. Uh, a heavy announcement. People are going to be shocked. And it has to do with money. Uh, it's a man way, Sabuna, to the right. I love you guys. I got to go, guys. I love you. I love you. So that ends a PFM situation room today. God bless you. Uh, please share this video, like this video, hit the notification bell icon uh, in order for Facebook and YouTube to recommend it for others to watch. You all have a, a wonderful night. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, okay? Uh, bye for now. God bless you all. Thank you. Bye for now. All right? Happy birthday to Prince Clem Agba. Thank you so much.